more labels and pronouns for Dr. Woke. Just what we needed. Hello, everyone. I am Mecca Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. And don't bother with it. It's a rumor. I think it's a rumor, but we're going to laugh at it if we are. Really, you, they really need to go and, and use this rumor to get clicks on Dr. Woke. Even my intro card is interrupting me and agree with me. <laughs> Even my intro card. I am Mecha Random 42 We are talking about this. As we've already reported, one of them is Jody Wicker's 13 Doctor may come out as the B in the alphabet, the, doing the giggity with other people. Seriously, unless we're seeing it on camera, unless we actually get to see it, what does it matter? This is a show that they like to say is for, for young people. I don't necessarily agree with that for Doctor Who, but I can see why it would appeal to younger people. But for crying out loud, unless you're going to give us something like Star Trek Deep Space Nine level giggity. Then I don't think this is even worth our time as an article. I don't think this is worth it. And I think this might go along with the Anne Hathaway. This is this is what we're at. We're just doing an episode of the quickies, aren't we? And where's my quickies thing? I don't know what my quickies thing is. It's time once again for the quickies from Star Trek to superheroes, SJW meltdowns, entertainment, cancel culture fails, and more. I love the reading because the reading and the wang is kind of what makes life worth living anymore. So they want to use people for their, their labels again in more Dr. Woke like we didn't already know. Like we couldn't already tell. And not only that, it's just a rumor anyway. Who the hell cares? It is just a stupid label, just a stupid marketing trick just to get somebody to talk about it on a live stream like we even care. What's next up on the quickies chopping block? I don't even know anymore. Maybe that's not even a quickie. Maybe it's just a quickie of a quickie. We got this guy. He wants all the, everybody who uh, supported the orange man to uh, prematurely expire. There's this guy. Seriously, what, is, what the crap? First off, who are you? Why do we care? You're in a movie called Nocturnal Animals. Well, I'm not going to be watching it because you know why? You, sir, are a meanie doodoo head. That is why. You are not very inclusive and you treat people who disagree with you politically like they are less than and beneath, that, beneath you. And you are acting a little bit like a World War II bad guy. Cut it out. Knock it off. Nobody cares. It is not that big of a deal. It is not this giant crazy reading thing that people are making it out to be stop it you're only hurting your whoever the crap you are i'm never gonna watch another movie of yours and you know what it is not okay to wish that upon anybody knock it off grow the crap up it is just politics ball if you don't like the outcome wait four years next Anne Hathaway, Anne Hathaway. This is another one. So people are having this giant outrage about this, this witch's remake. First off, first off, why are you remaking something that people clearly have an attachment to? If enough people had an attachment to this movie in the first place to go around and be upset with any of this stuff, why would you even remake it? Oh yeah, they don't have anything else they can do. They are just out there trying to milk and grift and squeeze every last dollar from every consumer based on your nostalgia dollars. And now, and now, what's the complaint? Anna Hathaway has to I issue an apology to the limb different audiences following a backlash towards a three finger character design in the HBO remake of The Witches. She didn't make the design. She didn't design it. Why don't you have some producer, some production designer? This is another remake. Remakes deserve backlash. Anne Hathaway has issued an apology for her depiction of a character in the HBO remake of The Witches following a wave of backlash from limb different individuals who took offense to the character's three finger design. Guess what? She didn't design it. She showed up. She read the lines. She put on a costume. She entertained you. What's the point? Why do you got to go after her? I don't know. Why would she have to apologize? A remake of the 1990 film by Nicholas Roeg. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Jim Henson itself is based on Roald Dahl's 1983 book of the same name. The witches follows a young boy and his grandmother as they attempt to stop a group of child-hating witches after accidentally discovering the witches plan to transform the world's children into mice. You know, why would they stop that? I wonder. I wonder. In the remake, Hathaway's version of the Grand High Witch is depicted with hands bearing only three fingers apiece, similar to the real world 
congenital disorder. Well, similar to. All right, ectro dactyly. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not meaning anything disrespectful. I mean, and you know what? It's it's not like it's not like they didn't even give the character a name. It's not like Timber! it's not like on Star Trek Discovery where they only have an ensign who just wheels himself around in the hallway without even a name. Timber! And it's not like there this character is only being used for the tokenism just to represent that. Timber! This is a real fleshed out character. This is a character that has some sort. I'm, I'm assuming, and I haven't watched it, and I didn't watch the original. No, I'm not going to. What am I supposed to be mad about? Why am I mad by this? It's fiction. Yeah, it's also, it's fiction for crying out loud. They they designed this as uh, what? What else can they do to shock people? What was the original one? Didn't, they, didn't she peel her face off? Didn't I see some clip of that? She peeled her face off. Let's see. An illustration guide to how to recognize a witch published by the original book describes the various horrific traits seen amongst witches, particularly noting that the witches had claws hidden by gloves. So it's in the freaking thing. So they gave her something. Instead of five figures, they gave her three. And people went re and wah. It wasn't a shot at you. I'm going to guarantee you that this was not an, an, an attempt to make you feel bad personally. This was not anything against you. This was a character design made out of poetic license on the description based on the book, it looks like. I don't understand what the problem is. I really, really don't. Not only that, why is Anne Hathaway apologizing? She didn't write the character. She didn't design the character. However, following the film's premiere on October 22nd, the film found itself under fire from advocates for the stable community. You know what? Go after Star Trek. Go after Star Trek because this poor ensign is left to roll himself around in the hallways forever. He can't even get on and off the ship because the transporter pad has stairs. Kipper! Baby Yoda only has three fingers. Well, he's an alien. What does Anne Hathaway have to apologize for, though? She had nothing to do with it. She came in, set the lines. She didn't create the character. She didn't change the character. She didn't do any of that. Maybe go to Roald Dahl. Can they go and, oh, did they cancel him? Let me guess, he's already dead, so they can't cancel him. It is meant to describe witches. It is not meant to describe human people. Are witches even human? Are they even human beings in this one? Are they designed to be like these sort of mythical fantasy characters like a witch or a warlock or a goblin or an elf or, or a troll? <laughs> or anything are they are they in that kind of category of like they're are they they wouldn't be cryptid they would be like the subspecies they would be in that category so they're not even supposed to be human and i don't mean any disrespect and like i said it's not like they're just being used for representation Kipper! star trek star trek does that Segway. and we all know that johnny depp was you know prematurely exiting the fantastic beasts thing and coincidentally a couple of days after he lost his case with with his ex which we can't really name or else they get really, really mad about that but it looks like Mads Mikkelsen is in talks to replace him in the Fantastic Beast series which is kind of BS because really Johnny Depp was never proven of anything anyway and yes yeah, so seriously seriously but what do you guys think is this a good replacement I mean, he's a good enough actor I just don't like it when they go around replacing actors because of controversy and there, there's enough reason to believe that they let him go. Him, by him, I mean Johnny Depp. Who is next on the quickie chopping block? Oh, yes. Proud to have published this season's much discussed console review bonus that seems to have pissed off the right people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We already talked about the, the woman who's afraid of the bumps in the Xbox console. I'm not going to sit through a 500-page article about somebody ring and wang because they can't be bothered to actually review their free console. They're going to go and poke fun at the gaming community for their rees and their wans. And if you think for one second that, it, that your little clickbait, ragebait crap is something that your consumer base wants, do you think that this is going to keep your, your site going? Do you really, really think that this is something that people are going to actually sit there? Because no, we wouldn't even click Kotaku if it weren't for these rage bait, click bait, grifting articles. Here's the thing. If you're going to tease us with this, oh, I'm pissing off all the right people. I don't know. Maybe make it a little easier to find. Maybe make it so I don't have to scroll through pages and pages and pages and pages. Because guess what? Your articles, your articles aren't even that interesting, right? 
If I'm supposed to be rage baited, maybe, I don't know, give me a headline that I can latch onto. Something where I'm not just sitting here scrolling through the damn thing, not even wanting to read it because it's so long. And, th- and that's the other problem too. And I'm not complaining that it's a long article. I'm just complaining that you're, you're basically clickbaiting me here. You're clickbaiting me on Twitter with this assessment. So you're clickbaiting me on Twitter that I'm supposed to be upset by something, but I can't even find what I'm supposed to be upset by. Seriously, I can't even find what I'm supposed to be upset by. What do the comments say? Yep, I already read about my reviews of the product and the state of the world politics. The best part of the review. So he's clickbaiting about the state of the world politics and I can't even find it. Oh, here we go. As I'm writing this, it's politics, politics, blah, 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 blah. We don't care. You know what? You know the only thing I care about this season with politics, ball. True and international average of pressure. Today's secret word is... True and international average of pressure. Now, you all remember what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? <laughs> right! For the rest of the day, whenever anyone says a secret word, scream real loud! <laughs> True and international average of pressure. True and international average of pressure. True and international average of pressure. True and international average of And if you can't even make talking about politics ball as entertaining as that, then I don't want to hear it. Because you know what? I was supposed to be here for the video game. No, I was only here to to see this little all the way down, all the way down. And re and when our government and burp, 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 nothing to do with your console. Do you hear me? There has nothing to do with your console and nobody actually cares about any of this crap. So you can just take your little, take your little stupid, this is just a pat out the article, isn't it? This is just a pat out the article and clickbait us into reading the damn thing. So save your time, just save your energy, don't even go to this article because there is really no reason to. Watch the YouTubers you trust who actually bought this thing because they wanted to, because for whatever reason they saw the specs and they, they will give you an honest review if it's worth your money or not. Because I guarantee you there's a lot of YouTubers who actually pre-ordered this, wanted these things and are actually excited and are not just there to shove their politics and their shit into any of this. And when I meme something like, True and international average of pressure. That does not mean it's an endorsement for one side versus the other. It is just a hilarious word that I thought was kind of funny, especially when we're dealing with all the ring screaming Karens and I really want this controller. Man, would I love this controller. (laughs) That is our quickies, I believe. And I am going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Balls. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.